start of the race, the Hill 1 pusher is the only one allowed on the line. If the buggy or pusher strays from their lane, it's a disqualification. The hill 2 push is very important because it starts the free roll. A good final push can mean a faster free roll time and a better rollout on hill 3. The stop sign time is an important metric of how well a buggy is doing in the free roll. The first flaggers ensure the driver is taking the right line in preparation for going into the chute. The second flagger lets the driver know when to turn into the chute. The chute is the most difficult part of the course for the driver, and also the site of most crashes. Drivers must turn very quickly while avoiding sliding or spinning out. The hill 3 rollout indicates how well the buggy did in the free roll and through the chute. This can be measured by the number of windows on Porter Hall that the buggy passes before being picked up by the first back hills pusher. On the back hills, it's completely up to the pushers to keep the buggy moving fast. Transitions on the back hills must take place between the designated markers, or else the buggy will be disqualified. The final pusher must have his or her hands on the push bar when they cross the line, or else their time will not count.